Okay, Algebra 1, 5-1, what we were looking at is graphing two equations to find the point of intersection called the solution. This is problem number 5 from your worksheet. And if we look, this is an in-slope-intercept form, but we can easily put it into slope-intercept form, solving for y. Add y to both sides. And then subtract 1 from both sides. And then we have the equation. y equals 2x minus 1. So we can come over here negative 1, our intercept, and then our slope is up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, right? So we graph this line. And then our other line, y equals negative 3. Well, here's on y, here's negative 3. And if x is 2, well, y is equal to negative 3. If x is 10, y is equal to negative 3. If x is negative 4, y is equal to negative 3. y is always equal to negative 3. That's a special kind of a line. It's right there. And when we graph the two lines, this point where they intersect, is our solution. And that point is at negative 1, comma, negative 3. That is solved. That's the solution to this equation. Now for 5-2, we learned to solve this without graphing. So what we were doing is we were looking for which one of the variables equaled something. In this case, y equals negative 3. So we can go right up here, and we can substitute negative 3 into this equation for y. 2x minus negative becomes plus positive 3 equals 1. Then to solve for x, we would subtract 3 from both sides. 2x equals negative 2, then divide both sides by 2, and we would find that x equals negative 1, which is exactly what x equals. Then we would take x, put it into the equation, 2 times negative 1 minus y equals 1, and solve this equation for y. So if we were to do that, please know that you have a pause and a rewind if you need to see that again. Negative 2 minus y equals 1. Add 2 to both sides. Negative y equals positive 3. Multiply both sides by negative 1. Positive y equals negative 3. And we find the other part of our solution. So this is the method from 5-2. Problem number 6 in 5-2. Problem number 6 says x equals y minus 7 and x plus 8y equals 2. If we substitute what x equals in place of x, we get y minus 7 plus 8y, right? We just take this and switch it for that 
equals 2. Now we combine our like terms, 9y minus 7 equals 2. We add 7 to both sides, 9y equals 9, divide both sides by 9, and use your pause and rewind if I'm going too fast, y equals 1. Now that we know y equals 1, we find x. The easiest way is to use this equation. x equals y, y was 1, minus 7. So x equals negative 6. And we find our point of intersection at negative 6, comma 1. If we were to graph these two lines that we got in the problem to start with, we would find this is the point where they intersect, and that's what the solution is.